Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I am doing Try Hard Thursday. So we're Try Harding today, and I'm playing Hoi I don't normally play Hoi I'm, I'm normally a, a Hoi banner. Me like dinosaurs. <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, I'm norm normally a Hoi banner, but I, uh, I figured, you know, you guys deserve something a little bit new, even on Try Hard Thursday. So here's what we're doing. Something new. <coughs> oh, God, I'm Sneezy McGee right now. Oh, goodness gracious me, I am Sneezy McGee. That's okay, though. I feel like being sneezy is kind of my main quality. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm a sneezy man. And sneezy men win smite. I did take take some Claritin D, by the way. So um, that's a lie. I just took the D. I didn't take any Claritin. But it will fix my nose in about 30 minutes. So... If it's really bad in this first match, then I will wait before my second match. Just a little bit. Just just a teensy bit. And then it'll be all better. Alright. Uh, I believe I just kill you, right? Oh, you're lucky. Oh, man. Look at how low he is, dude. Oh, I missed that. Crazy. Look at how low he is, man. That's crazy. That's brazy, 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 brazy. I'm going to just do my blue buff. You got a chalice. Which is going to delay his... Either Transcendence or Dominance start. I think, by the way, that... Hello, Appa. Oh, well, first off, if you don't have beads, you're actually dead. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. Uh, but I think I like going Bloodforge a bit more than I like going... Um... What is it called? A bit more than I like going Transcendence. But it's so new and I'm so nervous that like, what if it's not the correct play? You know? Like, what if it's not actually the best the best plan of attack? I guess it doesn't really matter, but... It matters to me. Alright, he doesn't have Transcendence and I do, so basically if I have a chance to fight him, I should take it. Um, I have Transcendence and a red buff, so I'm going to do so much damage in comparison to him. He hit me with his three, his two, and two autos, and I just hit him with two autos, and we, we even traded. Nice. Getting some good stacks on. Getting some nice stacker skis going. I'm going to wait out my one here because I can double bounce. Um, I don't know how. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Clear this out. Oop. And you're dead again. Oh my god, I really thought that other tower shot was going to hit me and I was going to be twisted. Lucky, I have great reflexes. Lucky, I have great reflexes. Why is he Scottish? Why is he Scottish? Please tell me he's not here, by the way. I did wait out quite a bit of time to get this red buff. He's not, okay. Now, here's the question on everyone's mind. Should I go Berserker Shield or Bloodforge? I personally think Bloodforge is OP, like I've been saying. Um, and because I personally think Bloodforge is OP, I'm going to build it. I think it gives you so much power. 
75 power on an item that also gives you life steal and attack speed and movement speed i mean it's just too much it's just too much okay that auto attack should not have hit him what what in the laggy world of warcraft kind of gaming pc does he have holy my man went ballistic mode he just teleported from like tier one tower to middle of phoenix yeah that was crazy I do want to kill him again with my alt. Is your blue up? Not up. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I guess I could go do bull demon. Perhaps you will. Or I just bait him. Oh, I whiff. Wow, that is... That is a yikes and a half if I've ever seen one. Okay, now I do this again, if I can figure out how. Damn. I guess that was his level up. What are you doing? Who in the world do you think you are? How dare he? How dare he even show his face at my blue buff? You're, he's, I mean, dude, to be honest, he's down a thousand gold and he still did that. That is a ballsy ass play. That is a ballsy ass play. And I freaking respect it. I never, knew we had such weapons. never knew we had such weapons. Oh, you do. Mm, fun fact. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> Dude, look at that. My my autos are doing almost 200 damage. I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't surrendered yet. Because he hasn't really... I mean, the only time he ever really put up a fight... Is when I was diving his tower. And, um... He ulted me under his tower. What if I just do it again, though? Yeah, I mean, I got Bloodforge passive now, so. So I think I'm just gaming. I can do more dangerous dives like that. Yeah, okay. There's the surrender. That's kind of what I expected to happen, but I just wanted to make sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in game two. And my nose will stop being all sniffly, diffly, doodah, McGee. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? It's game two, baby. And game two means gaming. And gaming means we're about to catch a double U. A double and a U. Fighting a Marta Chorus, which I fully believe, by the way, is <clears throat> one of the best gods in Duel, period. Like, hold on. I... I swear I want to talk to you, but like this Wukong never shuts up. Um, but I fully believe Marta Chorus is probably one of the best dual gods, like up literally up there that needs to be banned with Uller and Scotty. In my opinion, in my opinion, that's what I fully believe. I think he has a root that is a six second cooldown that roots for two seconds. That also gives 40% anti-heal and does a lot of damage. So, my point is, basically, um, he's goaded. Also, I hear him in the bush. Hello? Hello, my boy? I do not mind boxing you at level three. I am Wu Kong, after all. Did I miss that? Oh man, I actually missed that. Can I have this though? Like, how much damage does your burst do? More than mine. 
not not more than mine that's for sure Neom, stun slow fall shard and wait for the nice i waited for the shell and then he got bopped let's go the boppening has arrived population me <clears throat> now i know i said last game i think blood forge is better but um unfortunately for me wukong needs mana and um mana is not easy to have when you don't build mana <laughs> so, <laughs> so i have to go transcendence or i will literally never have the the capacity to use my abilities and i like using abilities they're fun. They do damage. They have cool looking like effects. Not his. His abilities just piss me off. But my abilities are super cool. IMO. IMO. Hello. That's messed up. I think you just die though. Like you don't actually kill me here, do you? Then you go up and then I go down. Yeah, exactly. You go up and then I go down. And that is how the world works. It annoys me that they both had 29 HP. Uh, I want to go breastplate, but I don't want to back for tier one. So I'm going to greed this wave. Probably die, but it's fine. He's got no abilities up. I'm chilling. A little knock up and I'm I'm chilling. He looks angie, doesn't he? He's looking he's looking angy at me. Angly. <laughs> Hello, angly man. Oh, no, there's literally nothing I can do right now. I don't have ult. Alright. I lied. I'm fighting. You are going to shell or you are going to die. Why didn't he shell? Or ult or anything. Is this going to be a five minute surrender against Martha Course after I said I think he's one of the best dual gods? Like, I think he's in the same tier as Kronos and Uller. And I'm just going to bop his ass in five minutes as a Wukong. That doesn't make me look good, man. That arguably makes me look bad. <laughs> Alright, he's clearing my wave. I guess I got to show up there. Hello, butt munch. Oh, big show. I do believe... Oh. Okay. Gonna say, I do believe you're dead and then land on him. And it was gonna be like this cool dramatic kill that was super sick. <clears throat> and then he died to one auto attack to my minion of my ult. Unlucky. Or lucky, depending on how you look at it, but for my dramatic kill that I planned, unlucky. Where is he? Oh, he surrendered. Okay. I guess that's that. I'll see you guys in game three. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number three here, and I am playing Hades. Now, I haven't been playing Hades very often at all. Uh, in fact, I actually have been banning Hades more than I've been playing him, but, um, but I, like I said, it's too powerful. It wants its blood trinkets. Oh man, my nose. I am so sorry, guys. I really am so sorry. I don't know why my nose is going crazy on y'all, but anyways, regardless, I haven't been playing Hades very often. 
and uh he's actually one of my staple bands now because i i kind of just felt like eh, i'm done playing hades i don't i don't want i don't need to play him anymore and i don't really feel the need to fight any more hades so i just banned him <clears throat> but i'm bringing him out for try hard thursday because it's time oh hello i wanted to clear the wave if you don't mind if you if you don't if you don't mind do you mind if i just thanks i'm glad i'm glad we could make a truce there that was cool and by a truce, I mean him missing every ability. And then I'm going to get your blue buff. Thank you. And oh, would you look at that? The wave spawned again. I'll, uh, you know, I'll just take it off your hands. I'll just take it. I know, I know waves can be a little bit rambunctious at times. So I'll just, I'll take it off your hands for you. And then um, I see, I see. Oh, what? Oh, you, you did a red buff. You did a red buff, but you, the, the problem with that is you don't have any mana. So if you don't have any mana, you can't really use abilities. And I said this in the last game, but abilities are kind of cool. They're kind of sick, to be honest. He doesn't have any chance, by the way, this game. I mean, he has a chance in the later game, but I have wholeheartedly dominated early game. So he has to wait a while before he can kill me. Hello, my dear friend. Would you care to beads? I missed. Oh, I'm a poo poo banana hammock, man. It was so close. Darn it. All right. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's go Chalice. It will serve its purpose. And I have a Book of Thoth before he even has a Bancroft, dude. Oh, no. That's not good for him. Why is he half health? And uh, Half health is a little dramatic. Why is he missing a quarter of his health? There's quite literally nothing for me to do on the map. I'm just going to proxy another wave, I guess. I'm proxy another wave for funsies. Hello. Okay. Or I'll just accidentally almost kill him. I think I am going to be able to kill him here. Uh, maybe not. Ow. Ow. Um, okay. A part of me really wants to alt him. Uh, but that part of me also knows I'm going to die doing it and it's not worth it. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Let's, uh, grab the, tre the treasure chests here. Obviously we want to blight all three of them, blow them up. <clears throat> And I would love if I could get his blue buff. He just never has mana, dude. It's like he walks out of base without fully regenning. Which, I don't know why you would ever do that. The base is there to regen. Hello? I'm gonna get his beads here. Perfect. The whole reason I did that is because I want his blue buff. I want his blue buff, but I don't want him to have the blue buff. I'm hoping he actually back. Because if he did actually back, there's a chance I can get his blue. He did actually back. And he actually healed this time too. Okay, you do a lot of damage when you triple auto me. But you don't do a lot of damage when you miss your cracker. I blew both down. Hello. 
I do have to be respectful of his damage because he he does have <clears throat> excuse me he does have Bancrofts and oh this is gonna hurt you oh my god he does have Bancrofts and I do have 2300 gold I'm sitting on so it's not like I have an advantage right now in fact if you take off 2300 gold for my total gold he is up he's up a thousand gold so I gotta be careful and now I don't have to be careful. You see how what spending gold does? <laughs> when you spend your gold and hit unbelievably strong power spikes instantly, you feel unbelievably strong. Who would have thought it works like that? I bet you Einstein thought. Hello. I just want to alt you. Oh, thank you. All right, he wing sharded away. There's no shot that you want to fight this. There's no shot. There's no universe. Oh, you lucky duckling. You lucky duckling. He missed a wave, which is really good for me. Um, Are the treasure chests up yet? Well, if they are, it's not there. They're not up yet. Did I ever get my treasure chest on this side? I did. Okay, I don't know how long they take to respawn then. Oh, he lagged a little there. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Holy. My three did 800 damage. He just loses tower because I caught him in a wave. That's rough. Did I do it again under Phoenix? Oh my god, I did it again under Phoenix. What the hell? I guess you don't really expect a level 13 mage to dive you under your phoenix at seven minutes into the game. You kind of just assume, oh, if he gets under my phoenix at seven minutes, he's dead. I am quite far ahead, though. Hello, can I have this? Thank you. Okay, but like, stop hitting me. I'm checking for the treasure chest. Don't look at me. Oh, it's here. Hello. Did I get the treasure chest? Nice. You don't scare me. You think you scare me, but you don't. You don't even come close to knowing what fear is, my guy. Oh my god. Is it not just disgusting? Is it not just gross? That this is like... Legal? <laughs> I guess is a good way to put it. It's just absurd, man. Oh, dude, if I got that uh, poly auto off, talk about dead. All right, let's go get Bull Demon. I don't think I can do it very fast. And in fact, I actually think he can steal it very easily with his Kraken, but I'm going to try anyways. I'm just making sure I'm timing my poly autos. Oh, I think he's scared to come out because I don't know where he is. He even bought wards. Oh, he just surrendered. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I'll see you guys in the next game.
What up, boys? I'm playing Freya because this guy literally passed all of his bands. He passed every single one. Hold on. Okay, I was gonna sneeze and I <laughs> just went down the other way. Weird. Um. Yeah, this guy passed all of his bands, so I'm just gonna play Freya. And that's that, I guess. I don't know if I love starting Enchanted Ring. It is 55 power. Funny inbound. All right. Fair play. Cool with that. All right. He was not expecting the horrific plus wing shard combo, I guess, and just got absolutely rolled level three. I wanted him to jump on me and do the whole combo that he did do because it would have made him exactly what it did make him, which is aggressive. And if he comes towards me after doing that combo, he just kind of dies. So I'm cool with it. I'm happy with how this game has started. All right, he messed up his clear pretty heavy there. I am just going to walk up and clear because he cannot do anything to me. All right. I killed him through his shell. Massive two kills. It was a good play to try to push me into tower. The problem is I wanted to go into tower because if he pushes me under tower, then he has nowhere to jump other than over the wall. And if he jumps over the wall, I got range for that. So he kind of played right into my hand there. Both kills he's played just kind of right into my hand. I think him not having pillar is kind of troll, to be honest. Oh, he does have pillar now. Oh, did I miss? I missed that auto, huh? All right. That was troll on my part. I should never have died there. He hit every spear. I only hit two of my four autos. Which is fair, honestly. Like, if I... If I killed him there, this game was over. So actually, it's kind of a good thing, I guess. He's a pro player after all. It's nice to, uh, you know, not just stomp random people. Massive kill. And nothing else off of that. Gonna have to run though, because that minion stopped me. Oh, he's coming. He is coming. I heard him jump over the wall. Yeah, he jumped over the wall to try to chase me. And I just ran away. So then he jumped over the wall again to go to red buff. But he already missed an entire wave of gold and XP. And red buff is not going to help him there. What I will say, which isn't good for me, is I don't have ult and he does. 
And I don't have lifesteal. He doesn't have lifesteal either, but... Still scary. He can get treasure chests. I'm fine if he gets treasure chests. I do have the horrific wing shard combo, so... If he does come at me and, like, jump on me and stuff, I think I can handle it, probably. I don't know. Maybe I'm trolling. Alright. Oh, he's giving me. He is giving me. And the reason I altered that is because it gives me my blue buff too. Because now he has to use his two on the wave, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I just, there's no way I die here, so it doesn't matter. All right, cool. That was a really aggressive play from him. He was mad. That was a play you make if you're mad. Like you, you don't make that play on on <coughs> in a normal game. But I got Berserker Shield, so I am now doing way more damage because it's so much attack speed and it's percent mitigation, which is pretty good. Um, my next items kind of want some life steal if i'm honest <clears throat> like a uh what is it called like a bancrofts but it doesn't give attack speed so i don't really actually want bancrofts <clears throat> oh gosh okay. right. he's got a minion wave covering him jumps over the wall and he loses this entire wave all right he went greedy on it he really wanted to keep the wave and in order to keep the wave you have to really outplay me there and when i have horrific and i have berserker shield you can't really outplay me. It kind of eliminates the option of outplay when you have a horrific emblem. All right, so let's grab this. Uh, I do want some more attack speed. Let me peep what I can grab here. Oh, let's go Griffin Wing. Griffin Wing is such a strong item. He's going crit chance, which is a smart play because uh, Deathbringer is really, really OP now. But what I will say is even though Deathbring is really OP, it's a lot of gold. And he could he could be doing Bull Demon, by the way. I did just clear the wave and back. I really didn't care if he did Bull Demon. Because I stopped my tower. If he does Bull Demon, it's it's purely defensive. Which makes sense. I mean, obviously you would want to be defensive if if your Phoenix is under attack. Doing his blue. He did his blue. I don't know where he is. Oh, hello. Right. Okay. He's doing XP camp. Okay. All right. He lost half his health there. Mm. 
wonder if he's just going to run this way. Try to get my wave. I don't know. I do want my blue buff, though, by the way. Actually, I'm going to save myself for red. Hello. You do not scare me. Nothing you could possibly do right now could scare me, even in the slightest. I just want red buff. He is farming for that Deathbringer pretty, pretty well, though. I wonder if he has it already. He does. Alright. Mm. Oh, he just circled. Just circled me. Mm. All right. Well, here's the thing. What I think I can do... Because obviously I can't kill him. What I think I can can do here is I can just go um do a hasten ring because going into a hasten ring means he cannot run and he did get in Venom Deathbringer which is thirty percent or forty percent anti heal which is good thank you baby it's a good item for him uh, unfortunately for him I really don't have healing I was gonna go into it but I decided not to. All right, now you run away. Naturally. Perfect. He acts like he's not taking damage. He acts like he's not taking damage when, you know, clearly he is. I don't know if that's like a, like a mind game he's trying to play or something, but it's not good. wing shard to run away there and i knew he would that's why i didn't have to actually turn for him you know Nice. GG. GG. Well played. The 5 and 1 Freya game versus a pro player ended up winning. Um and I will see you guys in the next and final game. All right. See you there. All right, boys. The last game of the video, it should put it to the 1 hour mark. Um and we're playing 
We're playing a little bit of uh, a little bit of Apollo. Why Apollo? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Blood Forge start. It's 25 power. What's the trans start? 20 power. Yeah, but you have so much more mana. I think you gotta start trans, man. I, used to craft my own I know that sounds kind of shitty. But I like I think Blood Forge is a better item, but the tier two versions are not even comparable, man. Like four percent lifesteal or a hundred and fifty mana plus seven MP5. It's just really not even it's not even the same. Alright, I am toasting this guy on my auto attacks. I bet you I should go Silver Branch this game. Oh man, his wave clear is so good. <laughs> Does my one kill minis. Leaves him with one health. You're trolling. And I'm very not scared of him. So far. They get a mana, a mana pot though. Oh, that was a weird auto. I don't know if I should be scared of him, like genuinely. I feel like there's a part of me that wants to be scared of him because he's AMC. I cannot let him pick up this red. If he picks up this red, I lose this game. Nice. That hit him. That's good. Oh, shit. Oh, he missed. Oh, no. That needed to kill minions. My dash had to kill minions for me to win that fight. I'm backing, but I will alt in. Uh, uh, Alright, fair play. Fair play to him. He recognized it and just backed off. I want him to start and use his abilities and shit on this buff. Then I can come in and steal it with ease, I think. Does my one do nothing? It hit it for 140? I guess, I guess it's rank 2, huh? I don't know. It just seems miserably low. Yeah, it only... It just hit him for 120. Because of 60 base power every rank. I'm gonna go dominance. I know transcendence is really good, but I'm just gonna go dom. I'm losing this early game really bad, which is not good for me. Which I shouldn't have to say. But no late game late game AMC is a bit scary. I do get 30 physical protections with my with my two. Which does give me some leeway, but then I have a really strong current fight. Because I went Dom instead of Trans. But I would love if we could fight now, honestly. No way I missed that. <gasps> oh my god. That's, that's horrible. That is really not good, boys. That is really not good. The only bright side I can take from that is that he... Um, choice. The only bright side I can take from that is that he didn't pick up his stinger.
Good damage. That's really good damage. I'm happy with that. Alright, you do not scare me. And he is giving me the red buff. Nice. Nice. So basically what I did there... Wait, a lot of people don't know this, but Apollo... if When you dash through minions, Apollo's three now gives him stacks of his passive. So like every unit you hit gives him a stack of his passive. And if you don't know what his passive is, it stacks up to 10 times and it procs those really fast auto attacks. Um... So going through a wave stacks your passive a lot. Like more than half. So I was able to, to utilize that to basically cheese a, a kill. Luckily for me. Which is important because I'm not winning. I'm winning now, but I wasn't winning before I did that. You know and we do this. And I'm in a comfortable position. What does my three give me? 20 protections right now? I have a Zerker shield and he doesn't, so... He literally never wins these. For some reason, nobody ever runs in a straight line against Apollo Alt. You always juke backwards. So, like, I always just put my ult behind them and they, they fall for it every time. That might be a tower because of my passive. That is a tower because of my passive. Nice. And yeah, he didn't have Berserker Shield. So, there is, there is no universe he wins that fight. Which is why I was so aggressive there. Nice. Oh, there's no way you're doing that, dude. I wonder if AMC's base movement speed is slower because of his hives. Like, because his hives give so much movement speed, I wonder if they compensated the difference. But it doesn't seem like they did. He's just a normal speedy bee. My next item... It could be many things. It could be... Like, I honestly don't believe Hydras would be bad. I think Hydras might actually be, like, decent. Because I stun and then I auto attack and then I won and then I auto attack so like I get a few hydras procs but just a, a more generically clear route is XE kins I could also just blood forge it to be honest the reason I'm being so aggressive is because his blue is spawning Keep an eye on his uh, on his timer so that he has to choose between me and the wave. Hopefully, I can get this. Okay, he altered it. Unlucky. But honestly, an alt for a blue buff is something I'll take. All right. I definitely don't think I'm scared of you at all. I don't think. I think you know I'm not scared of you. So I don't know what this is. Alright, I'm going to go XC here. And the reason I'm going XC instead of... Uh, 
instead of kins, even though I had the money for kins, is because I think the glyph is more damage when he doesn't have the, the HP built yet. Honestly, he could be doing bull demon. He did have a fancy for it. Uh, he has shell. Oh, but he used it. Perfect. Like I said, I don't know why, but everyone doubles back. So I just predict the double back and they walk right into my alt every time. I think Bull Demon does physical damage, so I'm using my two for the buff. But see, I, I was getting autoed for 68. And now my buff is gone. It's 76. So yeah. Bull Demon does do physical damage. I should back. I I don't want to take a fight while I'm in this HP. And then obviously I'm going to go horrific here. Because he used both of his relics. And my wing shard is down. So buying horrific is just a straight up upgrade. I'm going to take my time here and clear wave. Right. Nice. Nice. I barely even had to play that fight. All I did was auto attack him. I mean... He played that fight really well, to be honest with you. And he still lost it. Just trying to get some tower damage if I can. Or some, some titan damage, I mean. This is definitely a losing fight if he does decide to punch me in the forehead here. A losing fight for me, not for him. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna respect him. I'm just gonna back out. I think I should go Aussie instead of Kins. Reason being, neither of us have any anti-heal. And neither of us have, you know, 2,500 health. So. Aussie definitely the play here. I'm going to alt him. I think I need to force a fight. And by forcing a fight, it just means putting a lot of pressure on, by the way. Forcing the fight means that I can basically hit tower. Titan. I don't know why I keep calling it a tower. GG. I broke all of his hives, so he couldn't have movement speed going back to Fountain. And also, you know, obviously slower attack speed. And um, with slower attack speed and slower movement speed, he just couldn't stand a chance. We catch the dub. Let's go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tryhard Thursday. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and yeah. I love you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always. And until next time, peace.